why today you will apply what you have learned about multiplication of fractions and the GCF kasi in our topic for today which is division of fractions dapat alam nyo na kung paano magmultiply ng fractions ang ituturo ko ngayon sa inyong pag-divide ng fraction is yung conventional way meron tayong sinusunod na steps dito okay let's have this given example 3 fifths divided by 1 fourth. But bago ko ibigay sa inyo yung mga steps, alamin muna natin kung nasaan ba dyan yung dividend and divisor. Yung 3 fifths, yun yung dividend, and yung 1 fourth, yun naman yung divisor. Now, ibigay ko sa inyo yung acronym na K, C, and F in dividing fractions. K stands for KIP, C for change, and F for flip. Okay, ano ba yung ibig sabihin yan? Keep, ibig sabihin, i-keep natin yung dividend. Okay, as is lang siya, na 3 fifths. And then change, you have to change the mathematical operation, division, to multiplication. And flip, we are going to get the reciprocal of 1 fourth, and that would be 4 over 1. Alright, pag nagawa na natin yan, kinip natin yung dividend, which is 3 fifths. Chinange natin yung mathematical operation here na division to multiplication. At finlip natin yung divisor or kinuha natin yung reciprocal ng 1 fourth, which is 4 over 1. Pwede na tayo mag-proceed sa multiplication. Ngayon, imumultiply na natin yung numerators at imumultiply natin ang denominators. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. And 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Dun sa mga previous tutorial video ko, sabi ko sa inyo doon, Kapag ang nakuha mo ay improper fraction, you have to change your answer to mixed number. How are we going to do that? I divide lang natin yung numerator by the denominator. 12 divided by 5 is equal to 2. So that would be your whole number. At yung remainder na 2, yun ang numerator mo and copy the denominator 5. So the quotient of 3 fifths divided by 1 fourth is 2 and 2 fifths. Alright, let's have another example. 5 divided by 1 third. Pag ganyan na whole number, automatic mayroon niyang denominator na 1. So, sulat lang natin, 5 over 1. Then, follow natin yung sinabi ko kanina, na keep, change, and flip. So, i-keep lang natin yung dividend natin. As is lang yan, 5 over 1. Then, yung division, i-change lang natin siya to multiplication. And, i-flip natin yung 1 third or get the reciprocal of 1 third, which is 3 over 1. At, pag naayos na natin na ganyan, let's multiply the numerators and the denominators and simplify our answer. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. And 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So, yung nakuha nating answer is an improper fraction. E, simplify natin siya by dividing the numerator by the denominator. 15 divided by 1 is equal to 15. So, the quotient in 5 divided by 1 third is 15. Let's have another 2 and 2 fifths divided by 1 eighth or 1 over 8. Pag naman ganito na mayroong mixed number, uh, i-change lang natin siya to improper fraction. Katulad nung ginawa natin dun sa mga previous tutorial videos natin. 5 times 2 is equal to 10 plus 2 is 12. And copy the denominator, 5. Okay, ulitin ko. Paano ba tayo nag-change ng mixed number to improper fraction? 
Multiply lang natin yung denominator by the whole number. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. And then, i-add natin yung numerator. 2 is equal to 12. And then, copy the denominator. 5. And then, uh, i-change natin yung division to multiplication. And if flip natin yung 1 8, or get the reciprocal of 1 8, and that is 8 over 1. And proceed now to multiplication of the numerators and the denominators. 12 times 8, so at natin dito, 12 times 8, 2 times 8 is 16, 6 carry 1, 1 times 8 is 8, plus 1 is 9, so 96. 96 ang numerator natin and multiply the denominators. 5 times 1 is equal to 5. Okay, now, yung nakuha nating answer is an improper fraction. So, we are going to simplify this to mix number 96 divided by 5. How many 5 are there in 96? Okay, so let's divide 96 divided by 5. So, we have 1, 5, 46... And we have 9. 9 times 5 is 45. Remainder, 1. Okay. So, yung 19, that would be our whole number. 1 would be our numerator and copy the denominator, 5. Right? Again, how many 5 are there in 96? We have 19. Then, your remainder na 1, that would be the numerator and copy the denominator, 5. So, the final answer is 19 and one-fifth.